Well, you're starting out here, as you mentioned, in tag teams right away with Bad Bad Leroy Brown and Ricky Steamboat. So day one, uh, you you are here in a tag team. You know, we talked about the lack of ability to negotiate earlier. Are you just coming in the door and they're just like, hey, great to great to see you. I'm glad you're here. You're in a tag team. Or how does that shit go? That was it. (laughs) That was it. I mean, you know, it's no lead up, no lead up, no prep, no nothing. You and Steamboat are tag. <laughs> you're still young, uh, so it's like, you know, I, I guess it's cool to continue to, to learn and watch from the apron and stuff, but I have to imagine that after, like, a singles run and being the North <sighs> American champion, you've got to be frustrated as hell. Oh, I was frustrated, man. I mean, it's one thing if they try, but they didn't try anything with me. Nothing. And it was so frustrating, man, that uh, I believe I quit twice on Ole. Did you really? Yeah, I went home to Texas, and then they'd call me, and I'd come back. How stupid was that? <laughs> what was making you come back? Just like no other opportunities knocking? They promised me shit. Yeah, okay. Then I'd go back, and they didn't fulfill it again. Are they promising you like titles, singles runs? They're they're promising me a run. Okay. So I wind up getting pissed off and going to Florida. And joining forces with Satan down there. Yep. Um, so the Ricky Steamboat, we talked about him a little bit on our episode. He's a mainstay here in mid Atlantic. He's going to win United States and heavyweight titles there. Uh, can you give us a little f- refresher? You know, what did you think about Ricky during these early days around him? His time around me, man, was always great. He was great in the locker room. He was great in the car on the highway and he was damn sure great in the ring. Mm-hmm. You know, he was a gentleman, uh, he was a fun guy to be around. Did you feel like he was already at that peak performance level we would see him at in the WWF at this point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was there. He could do anything. He's super over with the crowd. And it is kind of, you know, if you're going to be paired yeah. with somebody in a tag team, probably not the worst guy to be paired with right out of the gate. No, absolutely not. But they just didn't have plans for either one of us. <laughs> 